Hi everybody, in the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to pimp out your Mac Mini. And what I mean by that is very simple. This Mac Mini comes with a 120 gig drive and uh, one gigabyte of RAM. Now, uh, when you buy the machine, they tell you that you can, the most you can get is two gigs of RAM and uh, I think you can get a 160 gig drive on it, it's the most you can get. Well, I'm going to show you how to get put in there a 320 gig drive, which the difference between this 100 and 320 gig drive and the um, 100 and 120 gig in the machine is that this particular drive is a 7200 RPM drive. So it's not only bigger, but it's also faster. The other one is a 5400 RPM. So we're going to put that and I also have here four gigs of memory that we're going to put in here. So we're going to bump up this machine to four gigs of RAM and a 320 gig uh, 7200 RPM drive. Uh, remember to visit aramistech.com because I will have there all the links to where I got the memory uh, and also the hard drive. The hard drive I got it for $88 so that was a steal and the memory was like 40 something dollars so it's not a real expensive upgrade and they'll save you from actually spending the $7.99 on the machine itself. So this one I have here is the $5.99 Mac Mini. Uh, when I show you the machine we're going to open it. The back of the machine is a little different. The um, the new ones that came out because this one I bought it a, about a, a week ago so it's, it's still the older model the newer model has the back a little different it has five USB ports and I'm going to show you that difference in the video but uh, stay tuned the next few minutes and check out the video alrighty here I have the things that you're going to need to make this happen uh, first you want to get a towel because when you put this machine upside down to open it you don't want this top, this part, uh, top part to get scratched so you're definitely going to need this to lay it down uh, one thing you are going to need also, it's a putty knife. You can get this at any Home Depot. Uh, this, home, this putty knife was like $5. Uh, the reason why I got this is because it's the thinnest, uh, you want the thinnest as possible here at the edge. Okay, so make sure when you get it, get the thinnest one and also the most sturdy and solid. This is a nice solid one that you can get. And you are going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a small one preferably, so you can get into the machine. Uh, I have here the hard drive and the memory and I'm ready to show you what we need to do. Alrighty, so I have the machine here laying on a towel and I have my putty knife and I have my screwdriver. And all the videos you're going to see, everyone has it, um, you're going to see most likely a, a upshot from like this from above. But the difference is here, I'm not only going to show you this shot from above, but I'm going to show you very close inside all the shots. So this will make it a lot easier for you hopefully to get into the machine, make the upgrades and see exactly what you need to do. Uh, the first thing you want to do though is you're going to get the putty knife okay and since I told you this is a th real thin one at the border I don't need uh, you're going to find some videos on the internet that they tell you that you need a, a little knife to get into it I don't need that I can actually stick this right in here and it fits just right let me uh, turn it around uh, you got to do this a little careful but when you put it in here okay you're going to pop this open you're going to pop this up like that. You're going to hear it has little teeth all around that are going to show you this. And so you're going to, once it pops out this way, you know, you're going to go all the way around. Now you can use a little screwdriver to give you a little leverage and hold that, that part up because I'm going to do the same thing and come around the other side. Let me actually put this here a second. Let me hold that there. It stays up there. So that's good. And uh, like I said, you want to pop it out all, all around. I'm going to actually do that here. Let me get into this part here. Do this carefully, take your time, you know, because if you do it in a hurry, you might end up scratching the machine or messing it up. So the best thing is to take your time and uh, do it um, calmly, you know. But uh, once you pop it out, as you see here, it's gonna pop out all around on all borders, okay? And uh, basically you can just take it out. I'm gonna turn it around and take this top off it's just the top it what holds this top is basically this little teeth here on the side as you can see here this little teeth here all around are what holds that top together okay so when you put the spatula in it'll help you pop it out now i got this thick one there's some that are thinner but i got this one because i figured it was going to help me a lot better because when i put it in it's going to pop out more of the teeth at the same time that you see there so definitely that's going to work um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually now take apart um, the machine in order to get to the hard drive and the actual uh, memory. The, the right here is the Wi-Fi antenna, which we're going to, the airport antenna, we're going to pop this out and I'm going to show you how you pop this out. Alright, this is the airport antenna and as you see here, 
and right below here there are two little clips hold press them together okay and I put my finger on top here because this is gonna pop out so press it together and this comes right out okay and you can just leave this on the side see it has a spring the spring comes right out and these are the two little legs I was telling you, you just press them together when you uh, put your finger in there and that, that will come out. So I'm gonna put the, everything over here. Now I'm gonna show you that uh, on this machine, in order to take it apart, there are four screws that you're gonna need and they're all around on each corner, okay? Now when you take these four screws out, one of them is longer than the other and I'll show you which one it is. It's this one here on this corner that is the longest one, okay? It's a, so that way you don't make a mistake when you put it back together, but it's a, a long screw right here in this corner. You also have to take, in order to take this apart, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna take this out right here. There's a cable here, right here, that needs to be popped out. Now, what I recommend to use for this is a little tweezers that you can use, and uh, you can pop this out. I mean, you can, uh, you can actually do it with your nail. If you have a little bit of a nail, you can actually pop this out, and it'll come right out, okay, in this case. I already got it out. Let me uh, get this out here. See, it's a little plug, so you, all you need is just pop up that little plug from there. Remember, you gotta put this back when you're done, okay? So we're gonna now go ahead and take out the uh, four screws all around, uh, and I'll show you which ones, how, they, how each one it is. All right, so here we're gonna pop it out. We already took out all the four, the four screws on all, all around. This is loose, so you just take it out, pop it out softly, okay? Gently, because there's a ribbon cable here in the back. So we're gonna flip this over. Now the Mac Mini has one gig of RAM, right? Now that one gig is not actually one gig, so you have to actually buy uh, more than one chip, you know, this is actually uh, 512 and 512, so uh, we're gonna pop this out That's the first thing we're gonna actually do and we're gonna take this memory out That's uh, right here we have 512 and then we have another 512 right here Gently take it out because it might be a little bit hard to take it out So just you know play with it till you get it out of there without forcing it too much So we got here the one gig of RAM from the machine. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our uh, four gigs and we're gonna put that in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick that memory back in here. Gently make sure it sits right in there and it locks in place. All right, so now we have four gigs of RAM on this machine, so we're good to go. Now we need to go ahead and upgrade the hard drive. So here I have my 320 gig drive right there.